First, I'm gonna demonstrate what you need to properly fertilize the palms. Fertilizers can be a corrosive, so I like to remove my jewelry. Then if you have a cut on your hands, you'll readily know it when you're spreading fertilizer. So one of the things I like to do is put on a pair of latex gloves. It's good to wear eyewear. And also there's a lot of fines in fertilizer that it's best not breathe then. So I'm gonna also wear a dust mask. First, I'm gonna demonstrate how not to fertilize a palm because 90% of the time, this is what I see out in the landscape. Generally, people just put a ring around the tree like this. By doing that, I've done a couple things wrong. Number one, I have not measured correctly the amount of fertilizer used. And number two, I've put the fertilizer in a limited root zone. On this tree over here, I've used some marking paint to show the radius of where the actual roots are growing. They're actually growing beyond that, but I want to uniformly apply the fertilizer inside this ring, and I want to measure it as well. Typically, a palm of this size will use four to five pounds of fertilizer. This measuring cup here holds approximately one and a half pounds of fertilizer, so I'm going to use three of these on this tree and spread it uniformly within that ring. There you have it, it's that simple. But if we were in a commercial nursery such as this, doing that to each tree may be time consuming. So some farms have heavy equipment and spreaders that apply that, but ideally this would be the way to do it. The fertilizer is spread uniformly in the root zone. We won't have a soluble salt issue. And all the roots will be exposed to the nutrients. On smaller palms that have lesser volume, you don't need to apply as much fertilizer as I did on the large tree. This tree here is approximately three years old, and I want to apply close to two pounds, maybe two and a half. I have a smaller cup here, which usually measures about three quarters of a pound, and I'm going to go ahead and apply three of these. And if you notice, it's a smaller root zone. Here it's approximately 18 inches radius from the trunk where on a larger palm, I went 36 inches away. Well, there you have it. It's really not that complicated, but that's the proper way to fertilize palms in the landscape. And as I said, you can also do it in a field nursery this way, acknowledging it takes more time. Thank you.